Hey guys, what's up, Zella here, and we are back with Fallout New Vegas. Um, I have changed a little bit. I did put the brightness just a little bit further up so we could see during the middle of the night a bit easier, and I did change the, um, the, the, well, as you can see, the health and the ammo and the condition and all that. Um, it's all green now, and I think, pretty sure I just did that. Pretty sure I just changed that. I know my pip is now green rather than amber. Uh, just because it's more vibrant and it's easy to see and you know know what you're doing so yeah I decided I wanted to do that it looks better in my in my point of view um, I think it helps me see what I'm doing a lot easier so yeah I'm just gonna follow this little dotted path hopefully there's not too much trouble I know I'm not going along a road so there might be Hopefully I do not come across any, um, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to save. But I'm, I'm hoping I do not come across any, um, death claws. I may just be jinxing myself now. Yeah, what is that? That's just the scorpion. I really don't have any ammo. And I don't want to have to, like, you know, cheat or anything because I feel like, oh god, shit. Yep, well. There I go, talking about, you know, saving shit. Saving ammo. Oh god, okay. A rebound. Look at that, look at all that space I've got now. Alright, so he was wandering alone at night. That's interesting. There you go, little camp. Hopefully they're not violent towards me. Don't think they are. Probably just told me to back off. I seem to have some supplies here that I apparently can take. So, I mean, that's cool. If I can take it, I guess I'm gonna take it. Alright. So Kaiser's kind of fucked. So I have to decide whether I'm gonna side with him or not. If I'm not, then these guys are going to hunt me down every time I uh, come past them. But, uh, no. I'm thinking I'm gonna go for it. And maybe that was a bad decision. Look at that dance move. Shit! Well, that's fantastic. I didn't realize that there was a stupid third person. Bloody hell, I have to walk all the way back. Damn it. Is that a cave? Oh, crap. Didn't know that was your den. I'm very sorry about that. Sorry, little baby scorpion. I'm just passing through. <laughs> um, just ignore me. I didn't do anything. <clears throat> oh shit! I know what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to follow this road.
Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. No, I didn't mean to. God damn it. Okay, alright. Kill me. Kill me again. Kill me. Okay, so I decided to come through here. To check out what this place was. Wolfhorn Ranch. I'm pretty sure it's just, it's just friendly here in this area. There might be someone who wants to shoot me. Worried about like their crops and stuff. That's alright. I'm just gonna leave this place be. Um, and just continue on my way. On my very well way. Um, not gonna cause any trouble or anything. There they are. And then there's gonna be the Kaiser's Legion, which are over there that are going to attack these merchants. Um, so I'm gonna stick with them. In fact, I might prim them down and accept an MCR. Talk with the hey merchant there. now. Anything? Hi. Um, I'd like to see sure. your wares. Here's what I got. I'll sell off some stuff before uh, anything. I'm going to save because um, I don't know how much stuff I'll be able to Some take from the merchant if it dies. So, um, if he doesn't die, I'll trade with him again and maybe buy some stuff off him. But if he does, uh, we'll take his stuff and see what stuff is uh, and ends up being important. Mm, you know, worth stuff. Pretty sure there's some Kaiser Legion just there that are going to attack the traveling merchants. Yep, they're just there. They're going to attack. So I'm just gonna stay back and let them handle it. Holy crap! Someone's head just flew off. There's a little throwing spear. Well, that's quite interesting. How that works. That was the mercenary at the front, wasn't it? Yeah, poor mercenary. Let's see what she's got. Some bottle caps. Um, some dirty water, fresh carrot. Ah, uh, and scotch and knife. Okay. A uh, case. Bad. Don't want that. Iguana bits. No. Okay, alright. Oh! Some more heads flying around. Now, I'm not really sure how to go about this, so I'm going to save. Oh, I've got. I found, found a location. I don't know. I'm just gonna save again here, and um. Just call my two millimeter. go. There we go. We did it. Good job. Good job. Um. Alright. There you go. Oh 
Hi guys. I got some experience from that. Gotta level up. That was good. I'm glad I stuck around there. I'm glad I tried that one more time. Well, I was on my way to Novak, but um, it looks like my mission pointer has decided to take me back to Nipton. So I'm going to head there first and just check in and see if um, there's something I missed out on within Nipton, you know. So I'm just following this arrow and seeing where it takes me. Hopefully it doesn't take me too far. If it does, then I'll just sort of give up and head to Novak anyway because uh, I'm not going to waste my time trying to figure out something that I don't need to. Uh, I feel like I'm following those two that I untied. I don't know whether they ran this way or not. But, uh, sort of what it feels like. Where is this going? I feel like I want to use, like, a TCL cheat and try and figure out where... There we go, it's decided it wants to go to Novak. Alright, so let's go to the raid camp. Yeah, so I guess I just had to follow it and get to that point until it decided that it wanted me to go a different way. So that just wasted my time like crazy. Alright, back to getting to Novak. Ranger Station Charlie. So I'm thinking... Um... I can grab anything around here, some quick supplies. Okay. Park Scout, before you get your Ranger badge, you got. The Rangers mostly draw from the basic NCR Army. A trooper who shows exceptional skill at fighting and scouting can be nominated. A couple dozen, I'd say. Most. Sure. See you around. Okay, well that was a great conversation. Oh, is he leaving? I mean, I can take stuff? I think I'm gonna... Can I take that? You think? Thank you so much for that donation, though. Thank you so much for the donation. I mean, it means so much to me, you know. <laughs> I'm glad, you know, you showed some kindness and gave me, you know, some medical help. So, thank you for your kindness. I will be on my way now. Back on my way to Novak. Woo! Discover Novak. Hi, Novak Settler. That should keep the powder gangers away. I'm just gonna talk to the, these people, see if they can give me any medical... Well, no one's there. Novak. I love Novak because of how it's gotten its name. Novak. No vacancy. I love that. I think that's so cool. Uh, what happens when those letters burn out? Let's talk to um, Victor here who's decided to follow us. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. Yeah. <laughs> Nice to see a friendly likewise, face out here. Sir, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Mmm. I could use a bed and some supplies. Well, this ain't New Vegas, but I reckon you can find what you need here. Try the office out front. What are you doing in Novak, by the way? I don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Fair enough. This is too big to be a coincidence, robot. What's your angle? I don't want to be like that. I you wouldn't say that. It. It's not something I'd say. Victor, I know that there's something up with you. Like, I know... I cannot remember particularly how Victor is involved in any of this, but I'm pretty sure... I get the eerie feeling that Victor is involved, whether he consciously knows it or not. I feel like he might be programmed to follow me, or programmed to go to uh, maybe New Vegas for Mr. House. But yeah, um, I actually really like these T-Rex souvenirs. I really want to 
like steal a whole bunch of them. Hello, Jenny Mae Crawford. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. Thanks, man. Thanks, thank you. We haven't met yet. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. Fair enough. All right, well, I'd like... Well, actually, no, I'll tell. I'll ask her about the, um, the man in the checkered coat. Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. <laughs> City folk. They always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper up in the dinosaur's mouth. Okay, all right. Watch out for strangers. Well then, um... Alright. Manny Vargas? So... Yeah. Manny... Whoa. Um, very smoky in here. I don't know what you've been doing. What's going on, man? <laughs> Uh, who are you? I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? I have a score to settle. Doesn't surprise me. The guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Damn Maybe it. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Fine. What do you need? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They don't have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. Damn it. Now. Why don't you deal with it? I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. Right. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. So what needs to be done? Well, they gotta go, or this will be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. All right, I'll see what I can be done about it. It'd mean a lot to me. Okay, not that I really care because I don't even know. <laughs> what was I supposed to do again? That'd be me. Five minutes, what was I supposed to do again? You want me to go in there? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm killing ghouls. Right, I'll like, <sighs> repcon. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what, okay, that reminds me. That's what I thought that, um, I was trying to figure out the name of what that massive dinosaur reminded me of, and it reminds me of Reptar from the Rugrats. Yeah. Um, I wonder if I can actually get some supplies from any of these. Oh yeah, this one's got someone in it. Yep, yeah, Ranger. Maybe you can help me out. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Hi, Andy. What do you do here, Andy? Right now? A whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. That's cool. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. No, I think that's better, better than doing days, a whole bunch of shit for Ron. <laughs> Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Boone. Tell myself I'm doing some good. So I yeah, to like, why not? Twice. Actually, the first time it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. Damn. Well, goodbye. I'm sorry about that. So. I'd ask you more, but I really cannot be bothered. Um, if you've got some free sh stuff for me to take, I wouldn't mind taking it. But, um, I guess you've got nothing much. I'll leave you to it. What's in here? Um, Briscoe's bungalow. Hello, is anyone in here? Holy crap, this is creepy as hell. Reptar Central. Ooh. Oh my, danger. AIDS. What? What? AIDS? Oh, kids. Learn to find shelter. <laughs> AIDS. Learn to find shelter. Oh, Sunset says paralyzed anyone. No one's looking at me. Dinky the T-Rex. Should really- what the hell? They're riding on roller skates. What is this? <laughs> That's so odd. I love the roller skates though, actually. Oh, I can knock them over, but I can't pick them up. 
I'm just gonna take a whole bunch of the souvenirs because I think this guy needs a break from all the dinosaurs and there's way too many to actually be healthy. Uh, I'm gonna rent a room and get some sleep. Or maybe I'll uh... yeah I'm gonna rent a room and get some sleep. I feel like my character is super tired making that whole trip to freaking Novak only to basically be told to go to another mission. So. To your Thanks. I'd like to rent a room. Well, I think that's a fine idea. I'll give you a good flat rate. He's 100 caps. I'm glad you can stay with us. Thanks, man. Your room will be the one upstairs closest to the lobby side. Cool. Here's your key. Let me know. Watch out for strangers. Thank you very much for your kindness. Can just eat all this stuff. It's beautiful. All right. Nothing in here. Nah. Just some empty bottles. Can't turn on the lights or anything. Let's go to sleep. Oh no, queen, fancy schmancy bed. And let's wait until nine o'clock. I'll just. I'm just estimating the closest time to nine p.m. Um, probably not even correct, but anyway. Okay, close enough. All right, we are ready to go and chat to Boone. Now, let's go into the Dino Bite gift shop. Hello. Are you gonna talk to me? Jesus Christ, the service here is ridiculous. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. Hi, Cliff. You're here I for the recently stole everything in your in house. Time. There's still a few left. No wonder there was tons of reptile toys in there. What do you sell here? Let me guess. Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Oh, cool, actually. Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. <laughs> so I'll sell that. I've got heaps of Dinky. I don't think he wants me to give him more Dinky the T-Rex souvenirs. And I want to keep them, just like the teddy bears. All right. Hi, Boone. God damn it! Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? I didn't sneak up on you. Um, just looking around. I heard there was a sniper nest up here. I think you better leave. Just making friendly conversation. I don't have friends here. Maybe I can be a friend. Well, I'm not from here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. You only trust strangers? I said it was a start. This town, nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. Right. So what do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, what route to take. And they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. So you're trying to track down your wife? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Right. Um, so what do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. All right, I'll see what I can do to help you. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. He's no bold. <laughs> I know what happened it's like he's hot. Life. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. All right. How do you know your wife is dead? I know, all right. That's all you need to know. Yeah. So basically... Um, I don't know if he'll tell us after the mission, so I'm not gonna say anything in about it now, on, like, because I don't know whether you guys actually know the story behind Boone, um, but if you do, then you know what I'm talking about, and, um, it's a really sad story. I will talk about it after it's done, if he, if Boone himself doesn't actually, um, really talk more about what's been happening. I hope you're finding everything to your liking.
Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. I know he thinks she was kidnapped. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. All right. How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Well, that's a lie, because... Watch out for strangers. Because he knows that she's dead. So obviously... Oh. I'm just gonna open this. Where are you going, Missy? Now, um, let's go to data. Now, misc. Bill of Sale. We, the representatives of the Council Officiorium, or Orum, have this day bargained and purchased from Janine May Crawford of the Township of Novak the exclusive rights and ownership wait to ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps and those of her unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle caps the receipt the receipt whereof is hereby acknowledged we warrant to the slave and her young to be sound healthy and slaves for life my god I knew I knew it I knew it. I haven't played this game in a while, but I knew it. Now you're gonna talk. You're gonna. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, come with me. Okay, if that's what you think. Yeah, yeah. Now, come here. I'm gonna put on Boone's beret. You need to come with me. Hmm. Yeah. You. I'm very glad. You have no right to live. That is disgusting what you have done. And for what? A thousand five hundred caps? You could have done so much more to get a thousand five hundred caps. So you know what? Goodbye. Good on you, Boone. That's it then. How did you know? Found the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. I don't think so. So, uh, what will you do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Come with me. We'll go after the legion. You don't want to do that. Why? We'll kill more with the two of us. Yeah, that might be true. That's reason enough for me to take you up on it, I suppose. But this isn't going to end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. And I finally have a companion. I like this. Achievement unlocked. Old buddy, old pal. Boone is my buddy, my pal. Doesn't really like me that much, but uh, yeah. Um, since this guy is not here, let's just uh, do what we can with the fact. I just want to sort of take everything. Really? Um. <clears throat> then we can sell it back to him and make some money. Holy moly. Alright, Boone. What the hell? Me and Boone are gonna solve a mystery that this I know I have the Patriots cookbook oh that was just the magazine I grabbed I have the Patriots cookbook no I don't want anything here there is a mission another mission in this area here we go Dusty let's talk to you hey there 
In from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. Hey, Dusty. What do you do here in Novak? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. That's quite sad. How's business lately? <laughs> you must mean what's left of it. Somebody's been attacking our animals at night. We're down to less than half of what we had a few weeks back. Tell me what you know about the attacks. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. Damn. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. Damn. I'll see if I can catch whoever's responsible. We'd be grateful. Especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Okay. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Did you get a look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, ma'am, but them two-headed bees ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on, or whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. All right. Goodbye. So long. All right, Boone. Listen here. We've got a new mission, and we need to get it sorted. Yep, my sarsaparilla is wearing off. But yeah, um... So guys, we've got this new mission here, um, well, with the Brahmin. Who is killing the Brahmin? Who is responsible for this horrible act, this horrible deed? We will find out next time, next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Links to all my social media are in the description. Please like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want to stay here for the long run. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!